What's up YouTube? I'm Mike and today I just got back from the gym and holy shit is it colder than a witch's tit in a brass brassiere out there. <laughs> My dad used to say that shit when I was growing up. I don't, I don't know where the fuck he got that. It's like 13 degrees in Dallas and uh, I, you know, I got some shit from some guys up north. I know you guys are used to this shit and man I feel for you. I, I don't know how you do it. When it's 13 degrees outside in Dallas, the grass just doesn't even look right. You know, you look at the grass and you're like, ugh, I don't know, man. I'm not, I'm not going out there. Like, fuck that. But, man, I've been going through some shit at home for the last, like, 24 hours now. I had to get out the house. I just had to do it. And so I forced myself to get in the gym. And, uh, and I started thinking about some of these, the, the new clients that I've been taking on. If you've been watching the channel, you know I started doing a little bit of training. And I've been just, you know, really getting a wealth of information, in fact, from my own clients' experiences. So what I want to talk to you today is about the, the, common, the common thing that we see in the bodybuilding community where guys gain 20, 30 pounds in a cycle and then lose 50 to 80% of it. And what's causing that? And all of the reasons why this is a terrible thing for you to do to your body. So, I know a lot of people are going to try to disagree with me. There's going to be some, some famous coaches that don't agree. And I'm telling you, I don't give a shit how famous you are. You do not know what the fuck you were talking about. And I'm finally now coaching on my own. And I'm going to build a, a, a database of information to prove this. Estrogen is your fucking enemy, guys. It's your enemy. And so when you take, when you go on a bulking cycle, you'll notice very rarely does somebody report that they went on Trin, Anivar, Masteron, or Primo or something and gained 30 pounds. You ever notice that? Shit like never happens. Now, generally, these are cutting drugs. Generally, people are not trying to bulk on these drugs. But one of the reasons that they're cutting drugs is because they are hardening agents. They're, they're good at making you lean and peeled and dry looking. And the reason they make you lean and peeled and dry looking is because they are not wet compounds. They do not aromatize to estrogen. So the guys that are out there gaining 20, 30 pounds on a cycle feeling all good about it is because they're taking Tess, D-Ball, maybe a, a DECA, an Anadrol, these compounds that can be very wet. And so they balloon up and they gain all this fucking weight. And really what I'm learning, to, to uh, what I'm starting to figure out is, is these are like ego gains. It's like the equivalent of ego lifting. You know, like that guy who goes in the gym and he wants to show off and he wants to do one rep maxes and lift way more than he really needs to. He puts all the strain and stress on his body. He's not even a fucking power lifter or he's lifting too much weight and he's got really shitty fucking reps and so he's going to end up ripping a fucking bicep off the bone or tearing his pec muscle because it's just this unnecessary need to show more progress than you've really actually earned. And when you take a bunch of wet compounds and you don't manage your estrogen levels, what you're really getting is the equivalent in gains. It's just like gains for brags. Like, damn, bro, I gained fuck 30 pounds in a cycle. And it's like, cool, dude, you gained 30 pounds, but you look like the fucking Michelin man. And inside of 16, you know, inside of 6, 12 weeks, when you come off all this shit, you're going to find out that maybe you gained 5 or 10 pounds. So why does this matter? A couple of reasons. One, you're wasting your fucking money. So all these famous coaches and, and famous names in the bodybuilding community will tell you all this bullshit about, you know, testosterone to estrogen ratios and take as much tests as you need to before without using an AI. AIs are evil. These people are all fucking categorically lying to you. AIs are not the enemy, guys. Low estrogen is the enemy. High estrogen is the enemy. These things are definitively the enemy of your pocketbook and they are the enemy of your cycle. You do not need a bunch of estrogen in your body to build muscle mass. That is a misnomer. Yeah, you'll put on weight. You'll definitely get bigger, but you're, you're, gaining, you're gaining volume that you don't actually want. I don't think anybody really wants to look like this bloated fucking water balloon. And so the second thing 
it, like uh, that I was saying is that you're wasting money. So like, let's say you do a cycle of 500 milligrams test, 50 milligrams D-ball, maybe you throw in some DECA, whatever, something like that. Um, when the testosterone enters your system and your system sees like, oh shit, my testosterone is getting really high, it engages aromatase to convert some of the testosterone into estrogen because it thinks that it wants to create some kind of ratio or balance. That's what it thinks because it doesn't know that you're fucking around and you're taking crap you shouldn't be taking. And so when your estrogen gets out of the range, you are 100% going to have estrogen-related side effects. Now, some guy's going to be in here going, no, I don't, bro. I have like fucking 80, 80 picograms per milliliter or fucking 100 picograms per milliliter. I don't have gyno. Okay. I'm not crying all the time. Okay. Can you see your veins like all over your chest? Probably not. Are you having a little bit of moon face? Carrying around a lot of water all over your fucking body? You're looking a little soft. Maybe you have some extra fat. Maybe your blood pressure's gone up. Those are signs that you are, in fact, reacting to the estrogen. There's really not a whole lot of cases where a guy can have super physiological amounts of estrogen in his system and not have side effects. It's just that a lot of guys think that because they're not growing tits, that they don't have side effects. That because their nipples don't hurt, they don't have side effects. There's, all, there's a variety of side effects that you can have. And if you're a guy who already has relatively high estrogen levels to begin with, you may be less aware of these side effects. So you are definitively getting side effects from high doses of test, D-ball, DECA, or low doses for that matter. You just may not be getting the, the, the ones that we're all scared of, which is like the gyno. Because you're like, well, fuck, dude, I go off cycle and everything goes back to normal. And that brings me to my third point. Have you ever noticed how a lot of professional bodybuilders, like most, like look at like Regan Grimes, for example, he's one of my favorite guys. Look at Nick Walker. Look at pretty much any bodybuilder. Have you ever noticed they get a lot of stretch marks right in here. They get a lot of stretch marks in their lats. They get stretch marks all over their fucking bodies. Uh, I have zero stretch marks. None. I gained 70 fucking pounds of muscle in a very short period of time. I don't have stretch marks. The reason that I don't have stretch marks is because I don't excessively gain weight rapidly. Cat Williams, funny comedian, has a classic line where he's talking about how women are always worried about their stretch marks. And he's like, men don't give a fuck about stretch marks. Stretch marks means one of two things. Either you was small and got big, or you was big and got small. Either way, we're fucking. And he's right. That's exactly right. You were either skinny and rapidly got big, and then shrunk again, and your skin did not have the elasticity necessary to compensate for this, and so now you got sh these unsightly stretch marks all over the place. And you gain those stretch marks, because you didn't manage your estrogen, you did a bunch of fucking D-ball tests or whatever, and you gained 40 pounds and you bragged all your buddies about how much weight that you fucking gained. Next thing you know, you come off cycle, you lose 30 fucking pounds of it, stretch marks are still there, you only had 10 pounds to really, to really gain from the whole situation, and you've now taxed your body, taxed your kidneys, taxed your fucking cardiovascular system, taxed your pulmonary system. You've put your body under all this strain. For what? So you could brag about how much fucking shitty weight you gained? Guys, this is not what we want to be doing as bodybuilders. Please stop fucking listening to all these people who tell you, you need to find whatever fucking dose of test you can take without needing an AI. Bullshit. I, there's no dose. Of, if, if I listened to that, I'd quit the game right now. Right now, I'd be fucking done. I would quit the game right now. Because there's no dose of fucking test that I don't need an aromatase. I don't need an aromatase inhibitor for. I got gyno as a kid. My son right now is 12 years old. His doctor put him on Remedex. Because he's got gyno. He's got swollen, puffy nipples from going through puberty. Okay, some people are very sensitive to it. Some people are not. But 100% of people who, who have who have excess levels of estrogen in their bloodstream are going to have some type 
of estrogen, estrogenic related effect in some kind of amount, guys will just go out of their way to ignore it. They won't notice that their dick is not working very good or they're like, man, I am kind of emotional. You know, I did like strangely cry in the middle of this fucking movie or I was like, you know, biting my tongue, trying not to cry during like fucking Little Little Mermaid. I'm watching Little Mermaid or whatever movie you're watching with your kid and you're kind of like going, fucking getting all teared up. That's because your estrogen is fucked up. And so if you spend a bunch of money and you're on, on test and your body converts it into estrogen, then you have less test. So if you, if you bought... Five, you know, if you bought enough tests to do 500 milligrams uh, a week and then you have estrogen that's off the fucking charts, some of that test you're paying for is getting turned into something that you don't need. You're just wasting money. If you, if you bought 500 milligrams of test and you gained a shit ton of weight and then lost it all, then you just wasted money because you just gained a bunch of weight that's no good for you. What you're going to find out is that you probably could have gained that same 10 pounds on... 200, 300, 400 milligrams of test or different compounds. Everybody wants to blow up on a cycle and the reality is you're not, dude. You're just not. The body is, it has all kinds of built-in limiting factors that are going to keep you from really getting that big on one cycle and maintaining it. So again, the best advice that I can give to you guys who are getting ready to start your first cycle or who, who've been doing this for a fucking while and you, you listen to all these talking heads on the internet. I don't know, like, I, I just cannot understand what the motivation is. It's like, what, it, you know, I was talking the other day that I think there's like a conspiracy going on amongst bodybuilders where they keep telling people don't take this compound or that compound or that compound. Meanwhile, those are like the fucking best compounds you can take to get the maximum amount of gains. It's almost like, it's almost like fishermen, you know? Fishermen will lie to you. Be like, hey man, you catch any fish over here? No. Or, yeah man, I'm catching like crazy. Really? What are you catching them on? Oh uh, man, I've been fishing uh, slow plastic, uh, uh, soft plastics, real slow down in the rocks. Just real slow, bite slow. And you're like, oh okay. And you start throwing fucking soft plastics along the riprap. You spend more time fucking changing lures because you're snagged up in the fucking rocks because this asshole lied to you. He wasn't catching them on soft plastics. Dude was cranking a fucking, cranking a, throwing a crankbait or ripping a rattle trap or some shit. He wasn't throwing soft plastics in the fucking rocks. I think guys just lie. I can't figure out the motivation for a coach to tell you not to take an aromatase inhibitor unless otherwise what they're actually after is that they know that if they have a client that pays them a bunch of money and they go on a 16 week cycle and the coach tells them, hey, take this, this and that and eat like this and do that and the client gains 10 pounds of actual muscle, not really gonna notice a lot. Like if you go back and you look at one of my most popular videos on this channel, it's like something about my 500 milligram test cycle Dude, everybody has this idea out the gate that if you do steroids, you turn into Cutler overnight. <laughs> everybody thinks they're going to like jump on test and they're going to be like a fucking monster. Dude, you're not. Your fucking first cycle, you might barely even notice the difference. And I know, I know, right away there's going to be some guy in the comments who's like, Bullshit, dude. I did one fucking cycle and I was a giant. Well, congratulations, you're a hyper responder. 90% of people who do a cycle are going to gain a bunch of fucking weight. It's going to be a shit ton of water weight. They're going to feel fucking great about it. And then by the time they lose the weight, they've already moved on to something else. Or you know, they, they, so these coaches, maybe they just lie because they want you to feel like, man, this guy's a genius, dude. He put 30 pounds on me overnight. It's like, who gives a shit? I could have fucking done that. I could have gave you a whole bunch of fucking E2 and just said, here, inject all this estrogen. You'll fucking blow up. You'll turn into a water balloon. Who wants that? So please, guys, stop listening to the bullshit. Estrogen is not your friend in low doses or high doses. Everything is about trying to stay in that sweet spot. Estrogen, and another thing to think about, if you have any doubt about this, look into female bodybuilding, okay? Female bodybuilders. Do you know that when a female bodybuilder starts contest prep, one of the first things she does is she takes a Remedex or Letrozole or something to crash her estrogen levels? That's right. 
Female bodybuilders crash their estrogen levels to get on stage so that they can be as lean as possible. Because you cannot get freakishly lean and have a shit ton of estrogen in your system. So if the ladies don't even want it in their systems to look good, why the fuck do you guys think it's a good idea for you to be walking around with more estrogen in your body than my wife has? Because some dumbass told you, well... If you're on 600 milligrams of test, you should probably have 100 milligrams, you know, 100 picograms per milliliter of fucking estrogen. <laughs> Dude, if my estrogen was 100 picograms per milliliter, I would be sobbing uncontrollably through this entire video, and I would be doubled over in pain because every time my shirt touched my fucking nipple, I would be like, it would be just inflamed. If I if I didn't take Kaber and and a Remedex on my cycles, I would literally have actual fucking breasts that were lactating. I would be breastfeeding babies if I listened to these fucking idiots that are so commonly talking about how estrogen is, you know, AIs with the enemy. So there you have it, rant over. For those of you who are getting ready to start a cycle, please, for the love of God, don't listen to the bullshit. Get your estrogen levels checked and keep your estrogen in, a, in the normal reference range for the duration of your cycle. And if it goes a little high and, and you're feeling okay and you're not bloated, okay. But I want to see the guy. Like, prove me wrong. I'm always open to being proved wrong. So if I'm wrong, somebody should be able to prove it. So I want to see a guy who is peeled to the fucking bone. Okay, somebody shredded six pack abs, got fucking veins all over their shoulders and arms. I want to see a picture that is fucking dated. And then I want to see blood work that is dated that says his estrogen levels out of the fucking range. I'm going to go out on a limb and say no fucking body on this internet can fucking produce that information. Because nobody who's trying to get lean has their estrogen levels through the fucking roof. It doesn't happen. So there you have it. Um, if you guys need, if you guys have any more questions, if you need coaching, please hit me up. I think I'm going to keep this rolling because at the same level, a, a lot of guys have been very nice and they've been they've been paying me 75 instead of 100. Thank you to those guys who have valued my information. Maybe that's what I should do. Set the price at $75 a month because clearly there's a market for it. But rather than start charging even more than that, most everybody that I've been dealing with has been very, very conscientious of my time. And so I can't tell you guys thank you enough for, for supporting me, for supporting the channel, believing in me. I'm really looking forward to continuing to work with you guys. If anybody else needs coaching, diet ideas, training ideas, PED ideas, sources, all the things that you need, hit me up on Instagram and I'm, I'm going to keep taking clients for a little while until I get to the point where I feel like, you know, if somebody if somebody's abusing my time, then I'll just independently maybe change their rate. But as long as everybody stays cool, man, uh, you know, I love to be able to provide this, this information for low cost because... I've tried to get coaches in the past, and they're they're quoting me all these crazy fucking numbers, and I'm just like, man, I, I you know, <laughs> I could I could get a car. I, that's my car payment. What are you talking about, dude? I'm not, I'm not I'm not giving you I'm not paying for your fucking BMW payment so you can tell me how to bodybuild. I don't need this shit that badly. And I'm guessing most of the guys who are hiring me, you know, they're not trying to be IFBB pros. So uh, let's keep that rolling. Uh, as always, thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next one.